it's prayer time, boys and girls. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful day, for bringing us a Sabbath school. Please bless me to help others to learn more about you. Please help me as I'm learning stories that I can use them in my life. I love you, Jesus. Amen. We are studying about David. And just like David, we get afraid of things. But David learned that in Psalms 56, 3, he said, What time I'm afraid, I will trust in thee. So we, like David, can trust in the Lord whenever we feel afraid. PCBC Kids has a song to share with us about faith. So let's listen in and see if we can sing along. song about faith and I hope you enjoyed singing along with PCBC Kids. Find them on YouTube. Bible, Bible talks about Jesus. Bible, Bible talks about Jesus. Yes, my Bible, yes, my Bible talks about Jesus. Today's story is about faith and the faith that we can have no matter what is in front of us. We will talk about David before he became king. Do you remember that the last time we talked about David, he faced a giant named Goliath and he defeated the giant? Well, today we're gonna talk about the rest of what happened to, to David. David's bravery caught the attention of King Saul who ruled over Israel. Saul was impressed by David's talents and brought him to his palace. David became close friends with Saul's son, Jonathan. 
However, as time went on, Saul grew jealous of David's popularity and success. He feared that David would take his place as king. Saul's jealousy turned into hatred and he tried to harm David. But David, guided by his faith, managed to escape each time. Saul's heart was consumed by jealousy and darkness, and he made many, many wrong decisions. Despite the challenges and dangers, David remained steadfast and true to his beliefs. He showed kindness and mercy even when he had the chance to harm Saul. He knew that it was not his place to harm the king, despite Saul's wrongdoing, jealousy, and trying to kill him. Eventually, Saul's actions caught up with him, and he faced the consequences of his choices. David, true to his character, mourned Saul's downfall, and honored his memory. David later became a wise and beloved king, ruling with compassion and justice, and his story continued to inspire generations to come. Do you see, boys and girls, how being faithful to God, it can always lead to positive things in your life. And it's so important that we understand that being faithful doesn't mean that we give up something. It means that we gain a lot. Let's look at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. This verse simply means that we believe that God can and God will fulfill all the promises he's made to us. Faith believing in something we haven't seen yet, but know that it is there and will happen. Now, boys and girls, go out and share Jesus' love with someone today. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Craft Time. Today's craft, you're going to need a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a marker that writes black, so this is a black ink marker. It just looks like it's gonna be green, but it's actually black. And three colors of paper. You'll need a full piece of yellow, one full piece of black, and then a little strip of any color paper you want. I chose turquoise. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take our black marker and our yellow piece of paper, and we're going to draw a star the best way we can. So start from the bottom corner, the left-hand corner, go up almost to the middle of, towards the right corner, then go down towards the right corner. So it looks like almost like a triangle. And then go up to the top left. So now it looks like a fish. Go across to the right-hand side, like that, and then down to the first corner you started with. Okay, so there's your star. Now, what we're going to do is cut out our star around our black line so let's do that now together. And this is where you can correct any parts of your star that you did not like, because you can cut it however you like. You know sort of now where the points are supposed to be, so you can cut it to be a little bigger or a little smaller. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. See how I cut around my point at the top? Because I didn't like it so small. So 
you can do that right now. You can correct any parts that you did not like. So you see how I did not cut perfectly around it. I kind of corrected it because look how my star looks. Okay, so now that we have our star cut out and we like the way it is, we're gonna take our black sheet of paper and the part where we drew our outline, let's put the glue all on that part. Okay, let's do that together. You know why we're making a star today? Our star today is to remind us of our children's story that we heard. Do you remember the children's story about the star that led the wise men to find someone very, very special? Yes, you do? Awesome. So now we're going to glue our star to the middle of our black piece of paper but towards the top. Okay, here we go. And now we're gonna take our colored piece of paper and we're gonna write our memory verse. And our memory verse is right here on the screen. It reads, those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, Daniel 12, three. And now we're gonna write it on our paper and then glue it down to the bottom of this. Okay, boys and girls. So I have already written it on the paper and I'm gonna just glue it down right here on the bottom. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the corner just so that it fits. So here we go. Let's glue this down. of my corner of my star is coming up so I'm just going to glue that down really quickly okay and here is our craft I hope you enjoyed today's craft time boys and girls and that it reminds you that we should follow Jesus like a big bright star in our lives we should follow him because those who are wise will shine like the brightness of heaven like stars Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.